In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an open cart development environment on localhost, GitHub, and a hosting or server. The main goal is to develop locally using VS Code, commit the changes to GitHub to maintain version control, and deploy the changes to the server automatically. We will create two installations, one locally and one on the server. The databases will be different, as this setup is only for extension or code development. We'll also maintain a version control history on GitHub. To begin, let's create a private repository on GitHub. Log in to your GitHub account. Navigate to the repositories page and click the new button. Give the repository a name. Here I use dev oc3. Provide a description for clarity. Choose the private option. We don't want to readme file, so we'll directly click the create repository button. The repository is created as you can see. Now, let's set up Git on the hosting your server. Since this is a private repository, we need the SSH link. Choose SSH and copy the link. How to add an SSH key on GitHub from Hostinger is demonstrated in another video. Go to Git section of Hostinger panel. Paste the SSH repository link. The branch name is main. Assign a directory. Make sure this directory is empty or not available before. Click on Create button. We have now successfully configured Git on Hostinger. Let's check if the folder is created. Yes, the folder is created as you can see here. Now let's clone the repository locally using VS Code. The VS Code Git configuration is explained in another video. I have added the link to the video in the description. Open VS Code, go to Source Control section. Go to GitHub and copy the repository's HTTPS URL. Go back to VS Code. Click the Clone Repository button and paste the URL. Choose a local folder where you want to clone the repository. The repository is now cloned locally. Next, let's add a .gitignore file because we don't want certain files and folders to be added to GitHub. Open the command palette, select add gitignore, and choose the images template. The .gitignore file is now added. Let's add some more files and folders to it. Now, commit the change.
The change will not be added to GitHub yet as we haven't clicked push. Click push. Now, you can see that the .gitignore file has been added to GitHub. Go to Hostinger and click the Deploy button. You can see that the file is now added to the server as well. Let's set up auto deployments so that whenever we make changes, they are automatically deployed to the server. Click the auto deployment button. Copy the webhook URL and add it to the repository settings on GitHub. This way, whenever any changes are made, GitHub will push them to the server via the webhook URL. Now, let's install OpenCart. Upload the OpenCart files to the folder where we clone the Git repository. Once the files are copied, let's push them to GitHub. You can see the files are now added to the Git repository. As well as the server. Let's install OpenCard on the server.
OpenCart is now installed on the server. Now, let's install OpenCart on localhost. OpenCart is installed on localhost as well. Let's install an OpenCart extension on localhost. After installation, push the extension files to GitHub. Open the site URL. And you can see the files are uploaded to the server as well. We can now install the extension directly. That's it for setting up an open cart development environment on localhost, GitHub, and a hosting your server. We've covered how to work locally, use GitHub for version control, and automatically deploy changes to the server. This setup makes managing your development process more efficient, helps you track changes, and ensures that your work is seamlessly synced across your local environment and the live server. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more open cart tutorials. Thank you for watching.